So today is, is uh, it, 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 one of the rewards you sometimes get for, for, for uh, volunteering is, is you get to volunteer some more. And so, <laughs> so I went from being the volunteer chair to, to being the board president and I appreciated the board's confidence in me and, and, uh, and having me do that. Um, but today I get to turn over the mantle of the campaign chair and uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the individual who uh, volunteered to take the reins this year. Um, Ryan Kilgore from the U.S. Bank uh, volunteered to be this year's campaign and uh, one of the criteria that I felt was necessary for uh, a successful campaign and the campaign leader was somebody who had some passion uh, for the for for people and for uh, United Way and Ryan the first time we met demonstrated that commitment and passion and so I'm very pleased to be able to turn over there the mantle of uh, campaign chair to Ryan Ryan would you come up Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day in Central Oregon, huh? How about another uh, uh, rousing applause for John Salzer and, and the entire yeah. group? Of John and team, I'm really proud of what you did this last year, and you set the bar pretty high. Uh, so I've got an idea for going into the campaign this year. John, I think every day you should wear a t-shirt and keep proud. <laughs> that, okay? Fair enough. Hey, uh, first off, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, to be here. I'm thankful to be the campaign, volunteer campaign. Sean, where's Sean? Sean Watt volunteered. He twisted my arm pretty hard, but uh, let me assure you, I volunteered. Right, Sean? <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of preaching to the choir this morning about United Way and the need of United Way, but I thought I'd share a little bit about how did I become uh, an advocate? How did I become passionate about United Way? What was it uh, that changed? And it, it was 30 years ago. My company asked me, I uh, graduated from college, started the entry level job, and they said, congratulations, you're going to be assigned to be a loaned executive for United Way. And this was in the uh, Portland at the Columbia Willamette United Way. Uh, pretty young, brand new in my career, didn't know much of anything, certainly knew the name United Way, saw it on the football games on Sunday, right? <laughs> so uh, for five months, I started out the Pace Setter Campaign United Way and went to all the large companies in Portland helping the large companies do their campaigns. And first I showed up, we had a week-long training, and they, we developed our speech, we developed our talk. I learned everything about United Way. Was I passionate about United Way once I learned everything? No. I knew it, knew a lot more about it, and I can still recite today the three key factors that we preached, and I preached for five months, it's local, it's cost effective, and it's run by volunteers. That was ingrained in me in a big way. Mm -hmm. But I tell you the difference was, I had the opportunity to go out and meet with these employees, many of which were like me, knew the name, but really didn't know what United Way was all about. I had the opportunity, I don't know, there's probably a hundred agencies in the Portland, Vancouver area that are supported by United Way. And the moment that I toured about five, ten of them, fifteen, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed with the needs in my community, the needs that I never saw before, that I never knew existed. And I was overwhelmed with the passion of the caregivers, of the nonprofits serving those needs. And mind you, 30 years ago, I was a pretty young guy. And, you know, I'm not, at that age, you're not moving to get involved, to make a difference, to give money. When I didn't have any money, I was back then. And so I think the challenge in front of us, the challenge in front of us, everyone knows the United Way. Everyone knows the name. Our challenge is we have to put a face. We have to put a face on United Way. We've got to let them know that it's the local needs. Many of our neighbors, many of our business uh, 
partners at work don't really see and know the needs that are out there. So uh, many of you are campaign leaders. Many of you are some of the agencies. I'm really asking Ken and staff, put a focus. If we can get some of these employees or these campaign leaders out to tour some of these agencies to see it, I know firsthand the passion of the nonprofits that are providing this care. I know firsthand some of the needs that are out there. But let me tell you, there's a lot of people in our community that don't see that. And once it's seen, once it's felt, our job becomes very, very easy. And maybe with John wearing his t-shirt every day, combined with all of us, we're going to put a face on United Way this year. Uh, you know, when I think of communities, I, in my job I get to travel and tour a lot. Uh, you know, we're blessed to live uh, arguably in one of the best places in America, you know, from natural beauty, weather, you name it. But the true character of a community is do we take care of the needs within our community. And the other thing, because of all these national ads, a lot of people think United Way, big national, everywhere else. You know, the thing I say over and over and over, it's local. All the money comes here. All the money stays here. All the money serves the needs in our community. It's volunteers that decide it. And, and the cost to operate this is pennies. If we had to support these needs in any other manner, any other manner, it wouldn't be nearly as effective as efficient. So help me put a face on United Way in our community this year. Uh, John and team set the bar very, very high. Uh, as we go into this year, uh, the campaign theme that I've selected with the help of many is we're going to give today and change tomorrow. So you're going to start seeing that theme. And John uh, and team uh, had a great year last year. They exceeded the goal. The goal last year was a million two fifty, right, Ken? Million two fifty. So I'm one that's not bashful. I'd rather shoot high and miss the name low and make it. So I've set a campaign goal, again with the help of others, one million five is our campaign goal this year. And I know we can do it. Uh, honestly, I think we can go well beyond that. As a banker, I'm seeing the economy improve. I'm seeing people uh, move here. I'm seeing all the right things. And if we did that well last year, I know we can do it this year, certainly with all your help. Um, I'd be remiss, uh, one of the key people to help me, and now my new best friend, <laughs> is uh, the new Director of Resource Development at United Way. Uh, he moved to Bend in about 2001. He's former uh, District Manager for West Coast Electric. Very, very community-minded. Minded. Uh, served on many nonprofit boards, Grandma's House. He's married, uh, has four girls, and uh, he's real good behind a microphone or in front of employee groups. I think he does a little thing. He does training for Dale Carnegie. Anyone heard of Dale Carnegie? <laughs> so uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the Director of Resource Development on the staff since August last month, uh, Vito DiMaio. Vito? Thank you, and thank you, Ryan. Um, really, he was very generous in saying I've been here since August. It was actually August 31st, so <laughs> that makes me feel better. Yeah. It makes me feel better. The first uh, presentations I went out with, uh, Ken would lead off by saying he was with United Way for 25 years, and I would follow by saying I was with United Way for 25 hours. So, um, But I do have to say that uh, it was fun doing presentations from Ken, and I, I think he's excited to have a guy named Vito on the staff. <laughs> In fact, um, he kind of turned into a little different person when he was presenting. He would say, and my associate Vito is going to collect the pledge form. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> I didn't even know a guy named Wilhelm knew what Capiche meant. <laughs> But it did, uh, I have to admit, it did start out a little uh, rocky. We were in our first meeting, uh, Ryan and I with Ken, and uh, Ken was introducing us to the group 
uh, key business people from the community, and he said, uh, we talked about the face of United Way, and uh, Ken said, I'm really excited to have Ryan and Vito, because uh, one of them's really smart, and the other one's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ryan and I have been arguing since then. <laughs> neither of us wants to be the smart one. So, the uh, exciting part about being with United Way, and uh, I've heard it in just a short time I've been with United Way and a long uh, volunteer time that I've been, is uh, you constantly hear people saying, uh, you changed my life, or this organization changed my life. And there's no greater feeling in the world to know that you're making a difference in, in somebody's life and affecting their family and their children. Um, and we've had the opportunity to go around and, and see some of our partner agencies and the incredible work that they're doing in our community. And, and thanks to you, the, the money raised has helped supporting that. So we, we thank you and we ask for your continued support um, as we move forward. One of the things um, that we do is we can't do what we do without the group here. So I'd like to do just a, a quick exercise about the power of, of reaching out. And as I said, I'm glad to be here and I'm glad that you're here. And I'd like to go around and introduce myself and shake everyone's hand, but we'd be here till probably 9 o'clock at night if I did that. So uh, what I'd like to do is, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to turn to the person on your right and the person on your left, greet them with a big warm smile, shake their hand and say, hi, I'm glad you're here. And that'll help me get to everybody. So on the count of three, one, two, three, go. Hi. Yeah, you, you had way too much fun with that. <laughs> Thank you. That shows you the power of what we can do when we all chip in and we all we all help uh, our community together.